Hi everyone, Stan here at JD Gardens. If you're a new viewer, welcome. Please support the channel by planting that subscribe button. And if you're already a viewer, welcome back. Well, we got a very special episode for you today. It's our 2023 walkthrough of Garden East, which is our Canna Showcase Garden, where we grow a variety of different cannas, over 50 this year. So it should be pretty good, so stick around. Welcome back. So we're a little late bringing you the video this year. Usually we like to do it in some time in uh, mid to late August. Um, but um, actually we did a little bit of traveling this summer and we were gone out of the country for a couple of weeks and we got back, I kind of got sick for a little while and I had lost my voice. Uh, so for like over three weeks, I, I was <laughs> almost had laryngitis. So uh, it really kind of put a damper on things. I was able to work, I was fine, but just my voice was not there. So uh, we just kind of waiting till I, so at least you could understand me. So anyway, um, so we're here in front of Garden East and um, a fun, interesting thing we did this year that um, uh, instead of, uh, we usually like to grow uh, a New Guinea patients, and we started them in the beginning of the year, but this year we decided, uh, well actually Jackie decided to do these petunias and she tried to do a red, white and uh, blue theme I thought was pretty kind of cool, uh, pretty cool. So it came out pretty nice. They, they grow great. Uh, for some reason, the New Guinean patients uh, didn't enjoy this area too much because uh, maybe it's just too much sun. Now remember, this is Garden East. So um, whereas we actually don't get that much sun in uh, first thing in the morning because our neighbor has these big trees. But from during the course of the day, the in, this is all open behind me and you got south and you got west and north and this area gets the most sun out of anywhere on our property which is why we have our candy garden here and why it does so well so um what we uh one thing about it that i've mentioned in every video as we go through cannas have a mind of their own so uh we kind of wait a little bit also to for the for everything to bloom and for the most part everything is but there's a couple of spots that aren't so whatever we don't have a bloom for we'll show you the leaves and then uh, we'll we'll show a picture on the side of what it should look like so come around <clears throat> so the uh first canna that we have and uh which is actually my favorite I, I call it the goat which is uh the greatest of all time which is the black knight now it actually has a couple of names for it it's uh, as Tropicana Gold, some people know it as. Others know it as uh, Red King Humbert, uh, affectionately known as the Black Knight. Uh, but for us, it'll always be Batman. And as you can see, it's just a beautiful plant. It has these dark leaves. They, uh, right now, they look a little green, and I've mentioned this in the other videos, but in another month or so, they're gonna turn into this real deep purple. It's just the most incredible plant, and this bloom is great, not quite uh, brilliant red, a little bit of orange in it, but absolutely gorgeous. And it just keeps uh, blooming and sometimes it's just amazing. They got a couple of new blooms coming out here. Now, if you've seen in other videos, uh, just to kind of let you know for the rest of the garden, um, other years, sometimes the canna, this uh, Black Knight is enormous and some of our other ones as well. And it's not that it didn't do well this year. Actually, all our cannas did actually too well. And let me explain that. Um, because what, what happened is it was growing so well that we kept splitting them and splitting them. And certain ones that we didn't, uh, that don't produce seeds, that produce rhizomes uh, because they're, um, uh, they're hybrids, we actually planted them a little later because we kept splitting them and growing other ones uh, for some of for our sales and other ones for other parts of the gardens around the property. We actually have uh, some black knights in the back uh, in Garden North that are like uh, seven feet tall, incredible. And uh, we'll show you that a little bit later. Um, but still, I mean, the Black Knight is great and this will continue to grow and uh, it's absolutely beautiful. We love it each year. And uh, like I said, if I'm worried about the size, I just go look at the one in the back. So as we go on, another one, which is part of the Tropicana uh, series. It's, uh, it's, this one is Tropicana Gold or also known as Bethany. And if you come a little closer, you see the leaves. It's just absolutely beautiful. And, um, you know, it's uh, w one of our favorite uh, plants as well. Uh, the problem is, um, um, is that, uh, not the problem, but uh, what I was saying is that it's a little shorter because this one we kept uh, 
splitting as well. We have some other big ones as well. Um, uh, maybe I'll split it back and forth uh, over here. Uh, we have uh, Picasso, which is always a crowd uh, pleaser. A uh, beautiful plant, and Picasso, you never know. Sometimes it's short, sometimes it grows really big. We always try to grow low ones on the fence line, but man, it just never happens. Uh, this year is so much different than last year. Last year was so incredibly hot. This year was so relaxed, and uh, you know, uh, we, got, we actually had rain this year, and the sun was hot, but not like last year. If you remember, if you're from the Northeast, last year was just brutal. So everything's just been going great. Our seed production has been twice what it was last year. But anyway, so Picasso, look at all these seed pods coming in. It's crazy. So sometimes it's hard to keep up with them. We have so many just in Garden East, not to mention Garden North. But uh, Picasso's great. Has the yellow bud with uh, the speckles of red on it. Really beautiful. Got to do a little cleaning up here, but that's okay. Still a beautiful plant. We love having it. And uh, it's one of our best sellers on our Etsy site. People just absolutely love this one. As we go along, this one, um, you kind of go in that air. This one, um, we started late as well. This one's Puck. We've had it in the past. Uh, so it's very small. And uh, like I said, we planted it late. And I know it looks dwarfed <laughs> compared to the other ones. But uh, Puck will actually get huge. And it's beautiful. A very light yellow petal leaf. And it has ruffles around the edge. Beautiful plant. But like I said, we... we we almost lost it last year, so we just kept splitting it. So we kind of started it late, uh, started in here late. Uh, but a really beautiful plant. Um, as going on, what do we got here? Futurity Pink, which is, I know we don't have many buds here, but Futurity Pink um, has some great uh, buds in there. Like I said, sorry, we don't have them here, but uh, if you uh, take a look on the side, we show that. As we come over here, this one's a new one for us, and we're so happy that we got this one, this one, there. This one is crazy. It's called Orange Beauty, and what a beauty it is. I mean, I'm about six foot tall on a good day, and look at this, how incredible it is. Uh, leaves uh, look like everyone else, uh, huge leaves, uh, great, but look at these buds. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Look how tall this is. So obviously it's over eight feet. What? Well, I just knocked some buds down. <laughs> it's over eight feet tall and we've actually had some pretty hard winds and we haven't had to stake this up. So it's very strong. Uh, really kind of incredible. Oh, lost some buds here. We'll put that on the side, but beautiful plant. We absolutely love it. We have some other ones growing in the back as well. Just same size. It's just incredible. Uh, Futurity yellow. Uh, um, some of the buds aren't quite there. Let's, as we move on, we have, uh, now these are the small ones that we're supposed to have towards the fence line, which is the, uh, the happies, which are supposed to be dwarfs, which, which we're fine with this one. And, uh, again, sorry, no buds, but the bud is actually beautiful. But what we love about this one has the dark leaves and kind of like a black knight, but not, uh, not quite as purple, uh, really beautiful. Um, and, uh, we've had this one for years. It's one of our oldest, uh, cannas. As you come around here, so uh, let me uh, have you flip over here and then we'll show you the originals. So over here, uh, part of the Tropicana series, or actually it comes by a couple name, which is uh, one of the most beautiful leaves of them all. It's uh, Tropicana original, or it's also called Fasian or Durban, who knows, but it's just beautiful nonetheless. And again, this is one that is a hybrid, so it doesn't produce seeds. So that's why we just kept splitting it. We, we have some beautiful ones all around the property. We absolutely love this one. One of my favorite leaves with all these uh, colors in it. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, Tropical Sunrise here. Then we have the Happies. Well, again, we kind of split. This is Cleo. We have some really nice ones around. These didn't, uh, aren't budding at the time, but uh, Cleo is actually beautiful. And uh, Isabel too. We just lost some of the buds. And uh, over here on this, uh, we had just have an extra plant in Alaska. We just kind of put in a grow bag. We have another one over there at the end, which we'll show you. White petals, absolutely beautiful. Uh, over here, this is Petoria, another one that's a hybrid that doesn't produce uh, seeds. Uh, produces the seed pods, but there's nothing inside, so we just kept splitting it. And uh, it's also called the Bengal Tiger. Very similar to Bethany or uh, Tropicana Gold but um, uh, it's uh, absolutely gorgeous. And we always try like putting it here in the front because it's so unusual as our neighbors walk by. So as we go around, um, this is an interesting story. This is a, this is a, a fire dragon that we have in, in a bag here. Now, the reason why it's so interesting is um, uh, we did a video a few years back of uh, uh, when we first got it, the fire dragon. 
and it's supposed to be a brilliant red. I mean, really brilliant, like a rose red. And um, the year we got it, it was so upsetting, um, we had a big flood in this area. I think we had it there in the middle, and this whole area was flooded with over two feet of water, and it destroyed a bunch of our cannons. I've mentioned it in uh, last year's video. So, or the year before, uh, yeah, last year, it happened the year before that. And so um, it was new to us, so we didn't know too much about it. And so we, uh, it was producing seeds, it does produce seeds. It is a hybrid, but this one does produce seeds. And uh, so we thought, all right, well, the rhizome got ruined, uh, but we had the seeds, so it wouldn't be a problem. Uh, so we started growing it, and when we grew it, uh, it didn't look anything. Uh, if you look at the year 2022 video, it didn't look anything like the first year we got it. And this year, we grew it again, and it's more pink than red. So we kind of did a little research on it. We found out that uh, with the uh, uh, fire dragon, it doesn't, uh, unless you have it growing it from the original rhizome, it doesn't come out, grow the same way. So from the seeds, you kind of get something else different. And it's actually, it's weird because it's looking more pink now. Uh, about a week or so ago, it looked a little more orange. Just very weird. I don't know. So uh, it's just when it's a hybrid, I guess it uh, uh, changes the route, who knows. But we're still growing it, see what happens. Uh, you know, we've had it. Hopefully we'll come across another uh, um, fire dragon. Uh, we were actually told that fire dragon's kind of uh, disappearing. So uh, when we got it, we actually got it from uh, a local uh, nursery and it came from the company Monrovia. And apparently you still can't find it, but on the West Coast uh, in California and such, um, but for some reason they won't ship here to the East Coast, uh, it's unfortunate. So if any, actually, if anybody has a, a fire dragon rhizome that they want to share, uh, leave a, a comment below and we'd love to actually get it because we've been trying for a while now. It's actually one of Jackie's favorite. Uh, as we come around here, anyway, uh, this one was a new one to us this year. Uh, so upsetting, Pink Magic. We have some other ones, uh, but uh, you look at the picture, you can see. Uh, very nice. The bud is actually beautiful. Uh, Futurity Red. Uh, this is another one we just kind of kept growing, so we just planted it a couple of weeks ago because we were having problems with it, split it, so, uh, but it's in the future line. You have red, pink, and yellow. Uh, beautiful plant, great producers. We absolutely love it. Like I said, it's just uh, unfortunately the way it is right now. Uh, over here, oh, Pink Dawn, another real nice one. Has a little bit of a darker leaf. Uh, in some areas, starts off with green, and then the bud is absolutely beautiful. I mean, you got some pink and you got some red in, the, in it. It's absolutely beautiful with the yellow stamen. Absolutely uh, beautiful one. Um, over here, Krita. Krita is always a, a great plant. Uh, this can grow real big. And um, uh, the buds are just great. Real, real strong red. If you want to come a little closer in here. I absolutely love Krita. And I remember years ago when we got Krita, it was kind of by accident. We were at a local nursery and um, we didn't... Uh, um, uh, they didn't have a tag. They didn't know what it was, Krita. And Jackie, right off the bat, she remembers seeing it, saying that she loved it. She was like, oh my God, that's a Krita. And I'm like, oh, uh, okay, sure, <laughs> let's grab it. <laughs> but the, the person at the nursery had no idea what it was, so that's okay. As we go down, uh, Tenerife. Tenerife, absolutely beautiful plant. Uh, great leaves, a little thinner. It looks kind of like Picasso. The leaves quite, quite aren't as, uh, quite as wide. And very similar, the yellow with the, the little speckles inside. Uh, I wish this was blooming a little more, but some great new blooms come in here. And we've been collecting a ton of seed pods. Absolutely great. Uh, come over here. Uh, maybe I'll have you start switching over so you can kind of come on this side. Okay, so we have an another new one to us this year uh, is Chinese coral, which is great. Uh, nice light pink. Uh, ruffles around the uh, uh, around the edges of the bloom. Incredible producer. Look, look at these <laughs> look at these seed pots. <laughs> Can't wait for those to turn. There's probably uh, 10 or 15 in each. It's absolutely incredible. Love it. Uh, what do we got over here? Uh, this was one that we actually just found in Earth3. They, they labeled it as green leaf red. Not totally sure. It, not quite the Krita, uh, but you know so many are red that it's um, we're just waiting to grow a little more so we can kind of identify it uh, as we go. One that we've had for a little bit, South Pacific Orange. Absolutely gorgeous. Great producer. Look at these seed pods. And uh, look, oh, the bud <laughs> just had a bee in here. Absolutely beautiful. Have some yellow that sticks out from the salmon and the, uh, 
Uh, the buds are just absolutely gorgeous. We love this one uh, so much and uh, have a few of them. We actually, uh, um, uh, we have some other ones as we go along. Um, I'll point that out. So this is orange and if we come over here, this is uh, South Pacific Scarlet. Yeah, so again, um, uh, if you look at it, uh, a lot of them start looking a lot. Uh, you just kind of, when you've done it long enough, I guess you kind of notice the difference. But great producer of seeds. Uh, this will grow a lot bigger. Um, but uh, we also had an ivory. Unfortunately, uh, it didn't make it over the winter of the rhizome. So we, we, uh, uh, we had the full set. Uh, I remember last year, I think we had them in barrels, all three different ones. But, uh, so we lost our ivory, which is so upsetting because we try to get as many white ones as we can. And uh, so hopefully we'll find another one next year. Um, this is um, actually, uh, uh, we constantly collect uh, cannas. So we'll collect them in the beginning of the season. We'll collect them over the winter. We'll, we'll collect rhizome seeds and everything. And whenever we go to any nursery, right now, if we were at a nursery, it's mid-September, we would uh, buy any cannas they had if we didn't have it. And this is one we only got, uh, I think, uh, sometime in uh, August. And... Um, it's a, a banana punch, uh, which is, I know when they all start looking alike, but they're different. The, this is a yellow petal, absolutely beautiful. Uh, look at it, it's a little thin on the bottom, then it opens up wide and really, really pretty. Uh, looking to produce some great seed pods, but this one's only a little over a month old. When we got it, it was around this big. We got it actually from Horn Canna Farms and it's actually beautiful and uh, another nice addition to the uh, to our family. And like I said, whenever some are smaller than others, cause sometimes we're adding them other ones we've had for years. Um, uh, King city gold. This is a new one. Uh, <laughs> we probably shouldn't put them together cause they're both yellow, but you know what? Sometimes we're just, we, we move things around because the sizing and everything, but another yellow one, um, a beautiful petal. Uh, it's starting to come as you can see, it's going to be an absolutely beautiful bloom. Uh, so, um, kind of, yeah, and uh, pollinators love them, and hummingbirds too. Hummingbirds are great. One thing about cannas that it's, uh, it's uh, uh, at least here around here, we get a lot of hummingbirds, which are really cool. I want to set up my GoPro one day so I can see it and catch how fast they move. But they're great pollinators, and they're just great to have around the garden. So they love cannas. Uh, this one's a real nice one. As we come around, um, it's kind of buried here. Uh, we should probably, next year we know to put this in the front against the uh against the uh the fence uh but um is brilliant and again because i think it is so small it's, it's not a huge plant but it's absolutely brilliant and no pun intended great uh very red if you can see the leaves uh the petals actually very very nice got to clean it up here a little bit that's okay <laughs> clean that up later um and uh, it can, it's kind of like Picasso. Sometimes it'll be small, sometimes it'll be large. Uh, uh, we have some ones in the back that are bigger, but still, I think next year, now we know, we kind of put it in the, in the front. Uh, one day, uh, all the sizes in the front, we'll, we'll get it right. <laughs> now this one, whoa. <laughs> this one's uh, Crimson Beauty, another beautiful one this year. I mean, look at that. It's, look how big this thing is getting. <laughs> we have to kind of cut it back. Uh, petal the thin uh, pinkish red very nice um, it's a good size and like I said we have other ones that are even bigger than this uh, as we go along kind of getting lost in here uh, where do we go Richard Wallace uh, another yellow one if you want uh, maybe we'll come around this side uh, so let's see okay so uh, Richard Wallace um, and we, I think we finally got this one right this year. And this is very similar to the puck. I, I kind of mentioned it had the, the yellow uh, petals with the ruffles around the edge. This one has a little more white in it, but still uh, gorgeous and uh, absolutely love it. Um, this is one that we've been growing for years and we don't, it, it was supposed to be a pink sunburst. You've kind of, I mean, I've kind of mentioned it in other ones, but it's not a pink sunburst, uh, obviously. And um, sometimes we think we know what it is, but then the colors change. So I think it's, it was probably some kind of hybrid, very similar to the uh, fire dragon, where every year it looks different. So who the hell knows? But we, we wanted to grow. We still had it. And we'll, we were going to see if we we're going to um, try to identify it, but it's just very difficult. So <laughs> I don't know if we'll grow it again next year. We'll see. It does produce a bunch of seeds and incredible rhizomes. That's the killer part. So many rhizomes. I mean, uh, it's just... Uh, thick hardy ones so we just like ah, we gotta grow it 
and uh, like I said, great producer. So uh, let me actually come around. We'll come around here. This is uh, one of our favorite areas, which is uh, Canova Row. And if you're familiar with cannas, Canova, uh, can, uh, uh, Canovas are a series that have like up to 11 different, uh, I think it's about 11 uh, different plants. And if you're looking, and I mention this every year, if you're looking to get into cannas, um, you can't go wrong with the Canovas. Has something for everyone. And uh, most of them are blooming, so uh, we'll take a look at them. Let's, uh, uh, Canova Mango. One of our favorites, everybody loves it. Everyone buys up the seeds on our Etsy site, and thank God it's a great seed producer. If you look at the seed pods are going, but beautiful, the pink, um, uh, look at these petals, and it's just uh, such a beautiful plant, and uh, mango is uh, uh, just a crowd pleaser. Uh, this one's Red Shades, which uh, again has some more pink in it. You'd figure with a name like Red Shades, it would uh, be a little more brilliant, but still absolutely beautiful. This one's a new one to us this year, and it's a lemon from Canova. Kind of looks white, but it's, a, it's a pale yellow. Uh, absolutely incredible. So nice to have it. Uh, most of the Canovas we had were darker ones. Uh, case in point, uh, rose, which is so upsetting, no blooms. Uh, we're, we're waiting for these. Normally we would just cut the, uh, if you want them to keep blooming quicker, you cut the, um, the spent, um, uh, spent uh, buds away. And, and if you're not collecting the seeds, spent the bud, uh, buds away and then new ones will start growing. But obviously we collect the seeds. So fortunately we don't have this one to show you uh, here. Uh, what do we get? Orange shades, uh, orange shades. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, really, really nice. I mean, look at that. Very, very pretty. The yellow salmon in it, it's uh, absolutely beautiful. That's the beauty, whoops, <laughs> don't mind that. <laughs> As we go over here, this one's uh, our our OG, uh, the old gangster. It is actually our oldest canna that we have. It wasn't the first canna that I got, but uh, this one has been growing in the Chandy family for the longest time in some variation. Sometimes we mix in other ones with it, but it's been with us the longest and uh, Tropicana yellow, I mean, uh, excuse me, <laughs> Canova yellow and very, very beautiful plant. Uh, just love it. And I know it's bigger on yellow, but um, you know what? It's just, it's been with us for the longest. We keep growing between seeds and rhizomes and it'll probably be for, it'll be with us for the forever. Always oh, a great producer. A any of the Canovas are great producers. As we go along, we have orange bronze. Very, another nice one. A little bit of a darker leaf. Um, not quite like the Black Knight, but nice. And uh, the red and orange uh, petals, really, really nice. When you get a kind of sense of them all together, it's just incredible. Uh, and bronze scarlet, unfortunately, we just, uh, Jackie was plucking all the seeds, the seed pods are growing. Uh, uh, here's the one coming in. Oh, yeah, we got a rolling caterpillar here. We're going to have to <laughs> cut that away. Uh, if you can see the damage that a rolling, ro rolling caterpillar does, it, uh, when it's together, it'll get, when it's still unraveling, a caterpillar will get in and start uh, chewing on it. So we constantly ripping off. But anyway, if you look at this one, going to be coming in and, uh, this week. Uh, very brilliant red. And it's really, really nice. Uh, another scarlet, uh, uh, scarlet wave. Very nice as well. A uh, little more red uh, than the other one, but uh, very, very pretty. Beautiful things coming in. This one was a new, a new one uh, for us this year uh, that we actually hadn't seen before. And um, it was actually, I think it was probably our number one bestseller <laughs> on our Etsy site, and which was Red, uh, um, um, red uh, Golden Flame. And look at these petals. Uh, so you have the red with the tips of it uh, yellow and very red. Everyone really seemed to love it this year. And we actually have another one I'm going to show you, Madeira, which is very similar, but uh, um, this one was just great and we're so glad. We, we're growing so many different ones in the back. And uh, last of the Canova series, another new one for us is Bronze Peach. Uh, so a little more pink. Oh, Lord, <laughs> look at these buds. Uh, very, very pretty. And uh, look at that. Uh, look at these petals. Um, so if there's, uh, if you're looking to get into canna, let me put these down. If you're looking to get into canna, you obviously cannot get wrong with the, go wrong, excuse me, with the Canova series. It just has something for everyone. Uh, dark leaves, light leaves, thin leaves, um, different colors, just absolutely gorgeous. So uh, let's come around. 
I kind of mentioned before one of our favorite, which is the Alaska. Uh, our, this was for years our, our white whale, <laughs> trying to find this one, and uh, we've been growing it, and we split it as much as we can. This one actually grows well. Uh, we grew it at the same spot last year. It seems to like it here. The sun comes up, uh, 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 sun shines on it, but it, uh, I think it casts some shadows, some of the areas, so uh, we don't want to burn the petals or anything, so it's, uh, it, it, it seems to like it here. It's going to grow about another foot or so. Absolutely gorgeous if you can see the white and a uh, little bit of yellow in it, but uh, still really incredible and um, so happy. Uh, and we're never going to let this one die out. <laughs> That's why we have another one in the basket and we have about three or so or four growing in the back. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, here's, and I'm so upset because we had a rainstorm the other day and it kind of washed today. This has become one of our favorite this year, which is Thai pink and it was blooming so well. But look at the petal on this and thank God there's something to show you. It's, and I'm not a big pink person, but something about this one, and I'm sorry, I didn't have enough to, it, 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 when it blooms, it's just so incredible. Leaving the house, I noticed it from here, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's just a really bright, light pink. And it became, like every year, something one of them stands out uh, to us, and for some reason, this one stood out to me this year. Absolutely uh, beautiful plant. Um, uh, when, what is it? Uh, City of Portland, another one that grows incredibly huge and uh, some great uh, new buds come in, produces some great seeds, uh, very nice. Uh, here we got another new one to us this year is uh, Wyoming, and Wyoming is great, has a dark leaf. Um, I'm going to see, because this is new to it, I'm going to see if it's a black knight, it turns a little more purple. It uh, starts off a little more green, and it gets darker, but uh, very, very nice bud. And uh, orange here, uh, it's really, really, really pretty. And uh, obviously it grows bigger than what we thought it was gonna. That's why we, we put it by the fence. So we know we can't put it in the fence. <laughs> one year we'll, we'll get it right. Uh, toucan yellow, we've had this one. Uh, toucan yellow and toucan coral, just very nice. Pink and yellow. I mean, look at them, they're just great. Nice petals. And uh, the pink is just really, really nice. They grow. They can grow about another foot or so, so maybe we should rethink uh, about it for next year as well. We'll see. Uh, Robert Kemp, Robert Kemp, uh, really beautiful. Look at the thin red petals, another huge one. Uh, I mean, look at this, uh, over eight feet, about eight feet or so. Really, really nice thin red petals. Look at that. Isn't that great? Going on. Oh, um, we come over here. Ah. This is Musa filiolia, and look at it. It almost looks like a banana plant. Uh, if you're familiar with banana plants, they're kind of very similar to, to cannas. It does create a bloom, which a ah, little bit orange red as well, but it's not really known for its bloom. It's known for its leaf. I mean, this is wild, isn't it? Uh, and we have some ones that are even taller than this. I mean, it's just really kind of amazing. Great leaf, though. So if you're into the leaves more than the, the bud, and the, or the bud is pretty, uh, Musa filiola is, is for you. Nice addition. Might have to rethink where we put it, but that's okay. Uh, oh, here's the one I was telling you about. This was a new one for us this year, Madeira. And we actually got it late, and it's a quick grower. So I don't know that we'll put it against the fence line here uh, next year, but... Really, really nice. And if you look at it, it's very similar to the uh, green leaf gold, except there's more red. The green leaf gold has more uh, yellow on the tip, uh, but um, very, very nice. Um, if you put them together, you'd be able to notice uh, um, like they're a little less on the edges than the gold, uh, uh, than the uh, than the golden leaf, um, golden flame. Excuse me. <laughs> So many different names. Uh, as we go along, what do we have? Omega, which is another great one. Uh, a couple of videos, uh, I kind of mentioned it. Uh, look at the pollinators coming in. A couple of uh, videos ago, uh, a couple of years ago, uh, this was kind of a surprise to us. It took us forever to identify it. And uh, we thought it was supposed to be a little happy Cleo. And it was labeled wrong from the, uh, from the buyer that we got it from. And it turned out to be like a 13 foot giant, which is the Omega. And that's a perfect name for it. And uh, it's 
look how tall it is. <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to get the camera angles here. We're on wide angle, but it's a really incredible plant. And uh, it's, uh, if you like that and you want another huge one, this is the way to go. Uh, Madeira, okay, so Golden Lucifer, very nice. Has the speckles in it, uh, great producer. Look at all these seed pods. That's crazy. That's just one. Look at that. Can't wait. Can't wait to gather all those. Ah, look at these. I think I said I showed the same thing last year. Isn't that incredible? Very pretty. Another yellow plant. Very, very nice. Uh, over here. This one, uh, a one that we got a little late as well, so it hasn't bloomed yet, which is uh, Roseman Cold. Uh, very nice. Uh, uh, Medium-sized leaf. Uh, really, really, really pretty. Um, can't wait for it to come in. Ah, another rolling caterpillar got it. It will keep an eye on that, but it's fine. Doesn't destroy it. Good thing about cannas, they're, I always say they're like the uh, French poodle of uh, plants. They just love being groomed. I could cut away all these leaves and it doesn't even matter. They'll just grow. Uh, no problems. Really incredible. Uh, over here. Now this one is interesting. Uh, something happened. This is supposed to be uh, King Humbert, um, but it's uh, not. Um, something happened to our King Humbert, and uh, we have some other ones, but uh, it was uh, list labeled by the manufacturer. We're trying to figure it out. A uh, very thin petal, some orange in there. We have to kind of see which one this is, but uh, still nice though. Well, once we identify it, we'll keep it and we'll just get another King Humbert here uh, for next year. Wow, look at that. Let's see it. Get it. Look at that pollinator. That's great. <laughs> Huge bumble. Ah, there you go. Uh, great for the camera. Very, very nice. Look at two of them. I didn't even realize that. Uh, great things about uh, cannas is that um, you want to, uh, um, um, if you have your tomato plants or anything like that, if you want to attract uh, or any any part of your produce garden, you want to attract more pollinators. Having cannas around are great. Pollinators love them. Um, hummingbirds, everything loves them. Uh, here, just get, uh, well. So um, definitely a great addition to your garden, uh, even if uh, you're you're ma mainly growing produce because the uh, pollinators love them. Yeah, you know, I got a little out of sequence, and when we were going around through the, the two Tropicanas, I forgot one of the b best cannas there are, which is the Cleopatra. And um, uh, again, this is one that we keep splitting. We have other ones that are bigger. Um, the greatest, the best thing about Cleopatra, if you notice this, it's just a lot of green in cannas. The only thing different is the bud. And when they're growing, there's almost no way unless it's one of the darker ones to determine what it is. Cleopatra is one of the very few that you can and how it, when it first starts off it has this unusual maroon like uh, oops, <laughs> stripe, oh boy I'm killing all the petals, maroon stripe in it and you can see that as soon as it starts growing so very early on it's very easy to tell uh, what it is which is kind of cool um, even these turn out to be a little more green in the beginning, uh, uh, but eventually, uh, you know, very early on, you can see the colors. But right off the bat, you can always tell what a Cleopatra is because of that moonstripe. And it has some red and some yellow. Really, really pretty. And um, uh, just uh, uh, couldn't end the video with, without showing you this one. So we hope you enjoyed this 2023 walkthrough of Garden East, our Canna Showcase Garden. We absolutely love bringing you a video and hopefully this, uh, if you're looking to get into cannas, this will uh, give you a bit of a motivation or some ideas of uh, what you can accomplish and uh, really shows you the beauty of all the different uh, varieties of cannas that there are. And we actually have a, a special video coming up for you next week. Um, th throughout the course of this video, I kind of mentioned how we have other uh, cannas growing in different parts of our property. So we're going to be bringing you a backstage look at uh, Garden North where we're growing over 80 cannas there. And um, uh, some of them duplicate, not 80 different varieties. We wish uh, maybe one day, but um, um, uh, it's where we like to, where we grow all of our backup plants so we can gain more rhizomes and more seeds. And uh, it's uh, really incredible to see us here. So we figured it, we bring it to you. And uh, we, we need those so that we can actually sell those on our Etsy site. So if you're looking to get into uh, uh, cannas, we sell seeds, uh, cannas during parts of the year and even rhizomes. So you can check that out at JD Gardens NJ. So 
Hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you learned something. If you have any questions on all things Canna, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd absolutely love to hear from you. And be sure to hit like and subscribe and ring that bell. So from all of us at J&D Gardens from Garden East, till next time, remember, yes we Canna. Uh.